it's shorting or uh, does, uh, you know, or do they just simply have to enforce the rules for that? So naked shorting, it's 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 funny, Charles, because I saw on CNBC that uh, Melissa Lee had had slipped up and talked about naked short selling. Now this is something that the retail investor and the apes have been talking about for about six months now. Watching you know AMC stock particularly is this is blatantly happening, and there are a lot of rules and regulations that are coming out. And a, a, a settlement time of T zero would definitely crack down on a lot of this naked short selling. The system is built in a right. way that these guys can get away with it. In fact, they slipped it up so easily on CNBC that it didn't even seem like a big deal. It was nonchalant. However, it's an illegal practice, and that illegal practice needs to get cracked down on. I also think there's an interpretation from Gensler's comments of greater transparency, like payment for order flow. A lot of people were shocked about it. The experts on Wall Street say you, the investors should be thankful for it. It's never been this cheap to transact, to, tra to do a transaction. But it feels unseemly, right, this sort of almost cannibalistic nature of these relationships. Would you like to see greater transparency? Oh, 100%, 100%, Charles. You'd love to see transparency. That's the issue with what you see happen on some of these big Wall Street firms is they're not transparent in the least bit. You can go through a variety of different ways, whether it be dark pool trading so that, you know, different brokers will go through a dark pool system and you don't have to have as much transparency. For the inkling of a cent, like a tenth of a penny or a hundredth of a penny right. transaction gain, I mean, that in and of itself speaks volumes about how much these guys want to hide a lot of their transactions, particularly regarding short selling. Trey, I got to get this in, but I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Reddit community itself for a moment, right? Yesterday, someone posted a link to an SEC S4 amendment filing. It was from Northern Star Investment Corp. 2. And, the, and it pointed to a legal proceeding on page 186. Now, part of it read, plaintiffs allege that Apex, along with over 30 other brokerage, trading firms, and or clearing firms, including Robinhood, Barclays, Citadel, and DTCC, engaged in a coordinated conspiracy in violation of antitrust laws to prevent retail customers from operating and trading freely. Now, to, to stop losing money on short sell positions, that's what it read. Listen, we're not lawyers. I don't want to speculate on this case at all. I just want to say, to me, it's impressive. The Reddit community, how they unearth things like this. Some A filing, an innocuous filing, page 186. Why do the pros keep underestimating your intelligence and how committed you are to this? I think these pros, the, the people who quote unquote are smart money, don't understand that the retail investor is not stupid. The, the average person out there can put together a lot of different resources, due diligence, crunch numbers, whatever it may be, and find out some really cool things. This is news, but it's not new news. These are things that we have uncovered over the last six months as individual retail investors yeah. doing research on the stock. Here's a fact, and this is something that you know brought me to believe that this could be happening, is the heavy leveraging, the margin debt that you have in the economy right now, the U.S. stock market. There's $847 billion of debt coming from margin in the stock market, and the majority of that, almost $200 billion, has come in the last six months. That is not a coincidence. These hedge funds are, are playing with fire and eventually going to get cracked down on, and that's as simple as it gets. You got to work with me, Trey. Real quick, the greatest risk to this movement is it regulations? Is it investors running out of money? Is it the Federal Reserve hiking rates or something else? Is this towards hedge funds? Risk, risk, risk towards what party, Charles? No, toward, toward the Reddit revolution. What's their greatest risk? Oh, absolutely. Know, tell absolutely. Me. Yeah, no problem. So I think the greatest risk is infiltration. There's no strange, you know, stranger to the note that right. these big hedge funds and right. firms will pay people to infiltrate the community and act like one of us. We have to watch out for those people yeah. and recognize that this is not the normal way and stick true to your convictions. Simple as it gets. All right.